Uh, this is a circle theorem question, and the first one, finding uh, angle BAD is another alternate segment theorem question. I love that. Uh, this is from Corbett Maths, quite good. Uh, you got access to this yourself on Google Classroom. Um, it's here. So you should see if we have a tangent across there, uh, then these angles match up. This one would be on the opposite side of the triangle inside the circle. So we should say it actually exactly matches up here. Um, so the reasoning would be because of the uh, alternate seg segment theorem. Uh, then you're doing angle BCD. And uh, that is an example of a cyclic quadrilateral where the um, opposite uh, angles of a quadrilateral where every vertex of the quadrilateral is on the circumference of the circle uh, they add up to 180 degrees. That's actually quite a straightforward one. Uh, if that's 55 degrees, then to get the opposite angle, you're just subtracting from uh, 180. 125 degrees, and um, because ang opposite angles in a, a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. This is a kind of is a uh, log log logarithms question. So log rules. You're going to be using a mix of some of these. So first of all. Uh, we use this classic where the coefficient here I'm going to move so it becomes a power like that. So let's apply that first. So there we go, that's the first step. I can now combine them uh, using the top log law here. And then I've got a choice, so I'll cut this a couple of ways. Uh, one way you can solve this is to recall this little trick that log a base a is equal to 1. And here we've got to remember there's no base given, so we're looking at its log base 10. So I can rewrite the right hand side like this. So as log 10 base 10 is one, I can just write one times two. Uh, if I write it like that. Um, and then again, I can use the same law, move the power, so sorry, the coefficient becomes, so it becomes the power. And that means that this part must equal that part because they're both log base 10. The squared is 100, so I've just expanded that out. Cool that it's actually asking us to find y in terms of x, so we've got to write y equals blah blah something x, write it like that, so y is going to be to the subject, so I divide by uh, x power of 3, and then sit to the power of 4, to remove that is the power of a quarter or a quartic root, doesn't matter which way uh, you write that, so either of those should work. Uh, but there are other ways we can do it, so let's explore some other ways. So when you're at this point, when you've simplified down to this, you could use the uh, relationship between exponential form and logarithmic form. And you could rearrange the logarithmic equation so it becomes exponential. Remembering this a one way is that if I write out the exponential form, it just goes y a x. And if I rewrite it in a logarithmic form, it goes x base a x base a y so you're just writing it essentially in reverse good trick write it in reverse it's going to be uh, y which is that part the base which is 10 and then to the power of 2 and then same as before rearrange it make y the subject the only way you can do it uh, there's another way so again once you got this equation maybe the easiest way is it just to think about inverse everything has an inverse in maths pretty much i say that um and the inverse of log base 10 is 10 to the power of. So you can re, if I do 10 to the power of, or both sides like that, uh, then the log and the 10 to the power of cancel out. And what a surprise, you're left with once again, uh, that. So it doesn't matter which way you do it, well, as you anticipate, it doesn't matter which way you do it, uh, you're gonna get the same answer. And following through with that, yeah, whatever the base is, you can do that. So if it's log base 3, the inverse is 3 to the power of, if it's log base 4, it's 4 to the power of, and so on.